What up, Lambros? It's real estate day. Today is, um, it's a Wednesday, and um, I just heard from Chris, and we are um, heading out to the rent house. They just started painting it white. Now, we haven't done any of the landscaping. Um, we have basically are doing, uh, we painted all the brick white, and then we're doing like black or dark trim, and then the garage door is going to go from brown to, to black. So I want to see what it looks like. He sent me some pics, but I want to see it in person, and I thought you might want to see it. So we're going to go by there and check it out. And then um, i got a full day of work ahead of me. I've got, uh, I'll have got i be meeting with Clay Clark over at Thrive at 11. We have a new person that just showed up that is uh, shadowing today that we're looking at hiring on the mortgage side. So it uh, should be a pretty busy day. And uh, But anyway, give me a minute. We'll be at the rent house, the Shannondale house, I should say. And uh, let's check out the progress of what they've done. See ya. Okay, here we are, peeps. There it is. The grass is still getting there, but uh, it went from that color brown. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. That color brown to white brick. Pretty hot. And then this is all going black. And the garage is going black. So pretty cool. I don't know, what do you think? Let's see what the back looks like. Hi there. Que pasa? Look, it's looking good. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Looking good. Good job guys. Thank you. It's going all black and white. All right. What do you think? I think it's pretty hot. And uh, I'm going to call Chris since I've now seen it and uh, let him know what I think. So I'll uh, throw the camera on when I call him. What up? Okay. What up? Hey, don't like. I don't want to have to edit out cuss words, so you know, try to keep it clean, bro. I know you contractors are nasty. Yeah, we, we, we're sailors. We're sailors. Okay, we're so I'm at sailors. I'm at Shannondale. Sweet. It looks good. Yeah, looks really good. Yeah, I think it's looking. I mean, it's really. They've already done the uh, entire garage since you took that pic. Oh yeah, so. they're they're moving. They'll probably be done in an hour or two. Yeah, it's freaking, it looks really good, actually. And I saw what you meant about that back pergola thing. Now yeah, that it... I think, yeah, I, I think it might be able to be saved. I just don't know if it's structurally sound. It was like almost falling down, so it'd have to be bolted back well, in. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we can kind of fix it up a smidge, and if it doesn't, then great. And if it doesn't, then oh well. Yeah. No harm, no foul. Right, gotcha. Okay. So, cool. Yeah, that's, that's the plan. Well, that is going to be a completely different house, and it'll be the only white house in the neighborhood. So There's one other house that's white, but it's ugly white. It's uh, like as you're driving out. Uh, I see it. I'm in front of it right now. Yeah, and it's got like terribly ugly gray trim. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. All right, I got to go. Other than that, we're riding. We're rolling. Realtor's calling. I'll hit you back. Put chainsaw. All right. All right, see you. Bye. Hello, Christopher. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Oh man, so my, it's nine o'clock and I uh, have a real estate team that I meet with every day at nine by phone. So I'm gonna call him. Answer. I answered. I just answered and he you have reached the voice. Come on. Alright, I'll be back when he calls me back later. It's ringing. He was just he answered and he was just talking, so I hung up on him. I'm gonna tell him I dropped the call. Tell him I dropped the call.
Are you hanging up on me? Sorry, I, I don't know what happened. The phone died. But what did you what did you say? I purposely didn't take the call because she needs to somewhere else, and I was trying to call you on the Oh, you hey, can. Hold on, I'm gonna call her. Okay. You can. Okay. Cool. All right. I, I definitely help on him. So, anyway, so um, uh, this is uh, some friends of mine that sell real estate. We do quite a bit of business together, so we get on the phone um, every day and just kind of go over deals that we have. So, yeah. Okay, I'm here. So. So anyway, I won't record that, but I'll be back when I get to my office later. Okay, I'm at the office, and I'm still on the phone with my real estate friends, but I wanted you to hear my side of the conversation. So. But you can buy insurance, right? I mean, you can go get it. I mean, do you feel like you're... Yeah. Yeah, and look, I'm just suggesting that you set a goal to get to a certain number. Because if you're talking about $1,000 a month for insurance, that's like less than one sale, you know? And you have a company. So there's no reason why you can't set up some type of insurance which you could make available to other staff as you bring them on and maybe we just need to make that a um like an action item for us to start researching some group policies or something where you can figure out what it's actually because it's probably not as bad as you think it is and even if it is you're talking about uh, chris and i were, were talking about it from more of a point of your sanity you know what i mean like is it really worth it if you're kind of stressing out because of the school thing when you could just do real estate full time. I just think we need to figure out how to get the company to pay for your insurance. And I don't think that's unreasonable considering your position. You know what I mean? Usually if we just need to work that out to where Purple Cow on the on the business corporate side before any expenses come out or anything, that there's a line item in there for health insurance for the broker which happens to be probably one of the most position, like important positions in the company, <laughs> you know? And if that's a concern of yours, I think we just need to do that. I mean, it's a nominal expense. You're talking about, if you're saying it's a thousand bucks and that's 12 grand a year. I mean, come on, you guys could sell, you probably got commission checks yesterday that would cover that entire year. Well, think, yeah, think about this. Just think about figuring out a way to get Purple Cow on the corporate side to pay for some portion of it, or if not all of it. You know what I mean? Let's just figure it out. And because then you can offer that to, at some point as you grow, you can offer that as an executive compensation plan, you know? Or, or a reimbursement thing where it comes through your LLC from Purple Cow, where it's a reimbursement. Uh, because you can figure that out, and then that would probably ease your mind where you can get some insurance in place before you leave and then make the move. Because I think if you were able, I don't know how many hours you're spending on that, but let's say it's 30 a week. I think you could spend three of those 30 hours a week on real estate and it, you'd make more than you're currently making and have less stress. 
you're going to have a different kind of stress because, I mean, there's a, it's good to have stress because you're, you know, you're pushing yourself. So, yeah. So I'm kind of talking through with them right now, um, taking Janice as the broker and making sure she's absolutely full time in real estate because she's a teacher by trade and she's got degrees and is trained by that. So we're trying to get her straightened out to where she can just sell real estate. So um, here we have a shadower that's here. And uh, so I'll meet him here in a minute and uh, when I finish up with them and uh, I'll be back. I've made it to the amazing business coach Clay Clark's office for the day and I think we're gonna record some podcast and um, I'll be hearing from my candidate that shadowed today a little bit later um, I like him so maybe we'll figure out a place for him on our team and uh, the rest of the day is work for me so uh, I won't bore you with the camera on my face too much so thanks for watching drop a like subscribe Turn on notifications. We'll see you in the next video. Later.